Hi, I'm Stephanie Laska. I lost 140 pounds and created Dirty Lazy Keto. Thanks for joining me here on the YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and enjoy the show. What are you in for today? Well, we're going to talk, my friends, about keto, protein, powder, and drinks. Mm -hmm. Keto, prout, blah, blah, blah. keto, protein, powder, and drinks. Um, this is a very interesting topic to me because when people first start Dirty Lazy Keto, or keto in general, a lot of folks gravitate to the protein stuff because they're like, oh, I got a protein. You know, we remember that from Atkins. Must be like reminiscent of Atkins. Or you just don't like um, other sources of meat. I'm not sure. But whatever it is, this is a super hot topic, especially among beginners, the whole keto protein powder and drink comparison. Like, which one's best? Which one's worse? What are, you know, the highlights of each one? So I want to go over some of my thoughts today. I'm going to be talking about cost, flavor, convenience, um, availability, versatility, and let's not forget my most important one. Can you guess what it might be? <laughs> Net carbs. At least for me, that is the most important thing. That's where I start, and then the rest kind of like shift. So we're going to be talking about cost, flavor, convenience, availability, versatility, and let's not forget net carbs for keto protein powder drinks and powders. Okay. So which one's the right one? Which one's the wrong one? We're going to get to the bottom of that. So I'll give you my recommendations of what you should be looking for when you're out shopping. Um, so maybe some tips for what to avoid. And I will explain why using seven examples. So let's go through seven different points. Um, and then at the end, we'll wrap it up with a free recipe demonstration by yours truly. And it's a fresh new recipe that you've never heard of. You are going to love it. It might be the next trend. In fact, it might go viral. It, it might be the new chaffle for, for today, for 2023. Um, so I know you're going to be excited to stay to the end for that free demonstration. Um, and you're going to love it. Okay? Sound good? And then also after this video, just in case you're in the protein uh, frame of mind, I will link up a video for quick protein snacks for keto. I know it's a big day. It's a big day, people. Big day. So before we move on, I want to spin the wheel. If you're new to me, you're like, what is she doing? If this is your first time watching, is it your first time? Um, I like to spin the wheel and offer up a prize for um, people that participate in the comments. I'll just choose someone at random. It's fun, right? I like prizes. And the item today is a red, dirty, lazy keto lunch pail, which sounds perfect for today's topic because you could take it to work or on the go, wherever you're going to be. I'll even show you what that looks like. It's a custom red, fabulous, with the emblem, not too big, not too small, Dirty Lazy Keto Lunch Pail, and it's even insulated for you to take your lunch or snacks on the go. So, woohoo! Comment away, my friends. First up on our discussion, I want to talk about, I'm like, where is it? There's so much happening behind me. I want to talk about Fair Life Protein Drinks. Fair Life. Do you guys like these? Is this one of your favorites? Inquiring minds want to know. Please tell me. What do you guys think of these? Um, the chocolate are very popular. They're so popular, in fact, that sometimes when I go to the store to pick some up, they are all sold out. I know. And they move a pallet out on the floor, and then they're gone within minutes. So I don't know what the deal is, but the secret is out about Fair Life protein drinks. So if you like these and you recommend them, apparently you are not alone. There's a lot of folks out there just like you. So just to give you a little sneak behind what is going on with these, I want to show you. Here's how they sell at Costco anyway. I'm not sure how you buy them in your neck of the woods, but a Fairlife protein drink, they come in this giant heavy case. There's 18 bottles, and they're ready to drink. Oh, I'm going to put that down. <laughs> um, anyway, each of these uh, ready-to-drink Fairlife protein drinks drinks. Uh, contains 150 calories. It has three grams of net carbs, 30 grams of protein. That deserves a, that's a lot. And also, side note, you may not know this. I had to put my glasses on to really study the label. I was like, what's happening in there? Because um, I could never tell unless I'm shopping with my glasses on. But inside a Fair Life, you might find that it is sweetened with monk fruit, sucralose, and stevia. So all of those can be found inside. Some of the pros I want to share with you guys are, in my opinion, it's no, you know, I, you can disagree. That's okay. But some of the pros are, like I said, 
high amount of protein, 30 grams. Um, it's very portable, right? Easy to put in your cool, dirty, lazy keto lunch pail or take in the car or whatever. Easy, easy peasy to take on the road. People love that. It's already made, right? You don't have to do any work. That's cool. It has a pretty long shelf life. Um, it tastes fantastic. It tastes very similar, in fact, a lot of people will say, to chocolate milk. Now, if you've tried to make chocolate milk yourself, like with some of these sugar-free chocolate-flavored syrups and maybe some almond milk, you're probably disappointed, right? You're like, eh. <laughs> Terrible, like toss that. I know, I don't particularly care for this one. Um, so a lot of people say, you know what? This tastes pretty darn similar to chocolate milk, and so they really like that. That's a gong. We'll do a bell. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Um, some other positives I want to point out is that the consistency is very smooth, right? It's not all gritty or bumpy or weird. It's very even and smooth. I like that it has a cap so you can, you know, have some now, some tomorrow, whatever. You can, you know, have a little bit. You don't have to, like, eat, drink it all at once. It's not like a juice box where you're stabbing it in the top. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's easy to drink on its own. You don't have to make any changes. A lot of people do recommend, just as a side note, it could be a negative, but... Most people, or at least me, think it tastes best chilled. So that is something to consider. It might be a negative. You might have to put it in the fridge for the ideal temperature and taste um, or blend it with some ice. But that is a consideration. Also, you know, you guys, keep in mind how heavy and big this case is. I was telling you, like, this is pretty heavy. And it's a lot of space in your closet, depending on where you live, your apartment, your house, your garage. It's pretty big, and it takes up a lot of room in your fridge, right? And it's heavy. Did I say that? And sometimes hard to find. So those are all some thoughts about number one, which is fair life drink. Oh, I'm going to set that on the ground. Okay. And the ice. Don't forget that. <clears throat> That's number one. Check. We're doing good. I want a, I want a noisemaker. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry I'm being goofy. I got to, you know, keep everyone focused. It's fun when there's noises and bells and things being shown, I think at least. That's how I am. I'm very childish. I need like something to look at and listen to. Um, so that's number one, fair life. Tell me your thoughts about fair life in the comments. Tell me your thoughts about pros and cons. I think we should all share. This should not just be a one-sided discussion. So please chime in and tell me what it costs in your neighborhood, where you buy it, etc. Number two, I want to talk about Premier protein ready to drink. So this would be like a competitor, right? A similar product to the Fair Life. But these are going to come in a different type of box, different type of flavor, different makeup. And I'm holding up here a vanilla Premier protein. But you can also see in the box behind me, I also have a box of Premier protein strawberry. Strawberries and cream flavored, excuse me. And also a chocolate um, premier protein ready to drink. So these are some examples for you. And this is what they look like out of the box. So you can compare how it looks. It's not as sleek and sexy as the Fair Life. It looks more kind of, I'm not sure, kind of like um, instant bullion. <laughs> it's a Tetra pack, if you know what that kind of container looks like. Um, and just to give you a quick rundown, I looked at the Premier Protein Drink Ready to Drink. The, 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 <laughs> and a chocolate ready to drink premier protein. Okay, I did it again. Too many words that sound the same. Um, but the chocolate contains 160 calories, 2 grams of net carbs, and 30 grams of protein. So pretty similar, right? The other one was 150 calories, 3 grams and 30 grams of protein. This one's 160 calories, 2 grams net, and 30 grams of protein. So pretty similar. Just call it a wash. Um, interesting to note, this is whey protein. Some, for some people, that's important to, to clarify. And it does contain sucralose. Now, what is sucralose? Do you know? Put it in the comments. What's a brand name that you might recognize with sucralose if you were out at the store? Anyone? I'll call on you. <laughs> just kidding. Like, raise your hand. No, just comment away in the comments, and that way we can see your thoughts and opinions. Um, but seriously, uh, sucralose, sucralose would be AKA or also known as Splenda. So it's those yellow packets. And I, I like it. I think it tastes pretty good. Some pros to consider about premier protein drinks would be, again, portability. Easy to transport to work or on the road. Has a good amount of protein, 30 grams. It's pretty goof-proof. You can't mess this up. 
I mean, you basically buy the box, you get home, done. There's no like directions to follow. It's like open and drink. <laughs> so that's helpful for a lot of people. They don't want complicated stuff. Um, I think it's a smooth consistency, again, probably because it's made commercially. Um, it's a low net carb per serving. We talked about that. It's two grams a net carb for the serving. And a lot of people like to add this to coffee. Um, again, I mentioned that I have here the, the vanilla. I've got the strawberry. I've got the chocolate. But what I don't have shown, because I couldn't find it in my messy closet, was the coffee flavored. Have you tried that one? The, like, cafe latte or whatever? Super yummy. Really good. All these are fun to add to coffee. Maybe not the strawberry. But you can use it for other purposes, too, not just to drink by itself. Again, they have a long shelf life. They're popular, easy to find in stores like Target, Costco, um, any kind of supermarket. You'll probably get a better savings if you buy them in bulk. Um, just to let you know round about what I pay for these items in Costco in my neighborhood for an 18-pack. This is both an 18-pack for the Premier and the Fairlife. These run between $28 and $30, depending on the price of the sale. I know, right? You're like, that's a lot of money. So, uh-huh, I'm with you. And, again, they take up a lot of space, and they're heavy and awkward. So those are some negatives to think of, too. But the fun flavors, the long shelf life, the convenience. What do you think, guys? Are these a pro? Are these a yes for you? Only you can answer that question. Um, but, you know, consider that cost um, and... No one wants to admit this one, but it can be. I'm going to just whisper this so I don't make anyone mad. Okay, this will be the gong. I'm going to whisper this so no one gets mad at me. These can become like a little bit of a habit. <laughs> they can be like uh, a really quick and easy meal substitute, like a crutch, if you will. I know, don't, I shouldn't say that. You might get mad at me, but it's true. You know, a lot of us, we start buying these, and then before you know it, you're not making lunch, you're not making dinner, you rely on them. You're like, oh, I'll just have a meal replacement shake. I don't want to eat anything. Or bother cooking, right, or learning how to cook or learning how to go out to eat. So that can be an issue. Think about that, guys. I know it's somebody had to say it. It can be a negative of the protein drinks. Now, I talk about this very issue in um, Extra Easy Keto, seven days to ketogenic weight loss on a low carb diet. You know, I go through the pros and cons of using dirty keto foods. And that is one of the topics that I bring up. Um, meal crutches, relying on those frozen or, or quick drink things can be a, a, a dirty habit that kind of rears up too fast. And then before you know, you don't even know what to pick or how to make a quick snack. You know, you're just relying on these things. They remind me a little bit of, do you remember from like the 70s? Because I'm super old, or the 80s. What were those drinks called that we were all having, the dieters of yesteryear? Like Ovaltine? What were they? Nestle, Ovaltine? You remember those? Remember that? And we were all like having the milkshakes and um, some of those diets, the liquid diets, Jenny Craig, I don't know. They were always telling us to drink our food with these meal replacement shakes. And it got us all in a lot of trouble because we never learned how to make better choices. So just think about that. That's in this book. I talk about that at length and offer some tips for avoiding that as well as, I need a positive, um, a cheat sheet of high protein, low carb foods that are easy to grab and go. That's very helpful, isn't it? The cheat sheets. Amen for the cheat sheet. I need a, a different bell for that one. My bike bell <laughs> that I ripped off my bike. Okay. All right. I'll stop the bad jokes. I know you're itching to get to number three. Um, number three. So we did some of the ready to drinks. Yeah, we're done with that. Let's move on to the protein powder because maybe that's better. So number three, I'm showing you guys the premier protein powder. So we've already talked about our ready to drinks. So I want to transition now to the premier protein powder. So this example here, it's got two scoops for 150 calories, two grams of net carbs, it offers 30 grams of protein. That's pretty similar to what we just heard, right? And some of the pros are, I agree with you, it has a, quite a bit about a protein. 30 is awesome. Um, I really like how you can control how much you use in your food. Like, for example, as opposed to the liquids, at least with the powders, you can choose how much you want to add. So you don't have to do the full two scoops if you don't want. You could do one scoop. You could do a half scoop. 
you know, you can customize it. And you can also use it for recipes. That is a big pro in my book. So I'm going to give it a, a yay. <laughs> um, I also feel like the powder is more affordable. It makes more. So that's a super awesome positive. Um, negative about the protein powder chocolate in particular. I don't feel like it's like super duper chocolatey. Like we were talking about earlier with the Fairlife, this one's extra chocolatey and fabulous. This one's not so much, so I tend to just add some cocoa powder to my um, whatever I'm making if I want that chocolatey taste. So you have to do that if you're me. That's just my opinion. Um, if I'm making a shake as well, I don't really think it's sweet enough. I know I'm criticizing here. So I just go ahead and add my own sweetener to um, the sweetness level that I desire. But again, I don't mind doing that because I feel like then I can get the drink that I want the way I want it. So it's nice, right? I like that. Plus, I'm not wasting if I don't want like a full size shake. Maybe I want something smaller or, you know, then it's always available to me. It's easy to portableness. You can put it in a Ziploc or whatever. Now, have you guys seen these cool cups that the young kids have? Maybe you're a young kid and you have it. My kids have these, these blending cups. They come in small and large, and you can put your powder directly in here. You can add water, um, or you could do a non-flavored, non-dairy almond milk or something low-carb like that. Add the little doodad. Did I show you this already? But you just put the top on, and then shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And then it blends it really nicely. The secret is that weird ball inside. I know, so cool. And these are just super cheap to buy on Amazon or wherever you like to shop. Home run for these, I highly recommend. Throw them off to the side. So that's a win. I wanna move on to number four. If you are interested in another protein powder, I'll give you my other recommendation is Quest. I love this company. I think they're awesome. Um, I like, I trust the brand. I think they make a lot of um, delicious products for us with the keto market. So we trust them, right? I think they offer us a lot of yumminess and they come in fun flavors, not just milkshake, but they have a whole variety of products. So tell me if you prefer a different one and tell the group. I think that could be interesting to everyone. Please share. So I like the fact that the Quest protein powder, this is the vanilla milkshake. It has one scoop as a serving size for 110 calories, two grams of net carbs, 24 grams of protein, a little bit less. It contains whey. This is a whey source, which is cows. And it also has sucralose and stevia. Now, we heard this earlier where a company had multiple um, sweetener sources. Do you know why? Put that in the comments. Even if you want to guess, maybe I'll pick you for a winner. Some of the pros I want you to think about is that it comes in a variety of flavors. It's a trusted brand. It blends very smooth. Some of the negatives might be has a little bit less protein than the others. I mentioned that. It has 24 grams per serving. But you could always just add more, right? Um, and then again, the serving size is one scoop. But I really do think it's best with all of these anyway. You can use your protein cups, but here it is. You can use these with a blender. It really does make it the best, in my opinion. Add the ice, start slow, add plenty of liquid, and it can make a delicious shake. Right? Yum, yum. You don't have to have a good blender either. Any blender will do to start slow and make sure you have enough liquid. Uh, number five, I want to highlight the Orgain. I'm probably saying it wrong. Orgain? Organic protein powder. This is not whey. This is not cow. This is a protein source from pea protein and rice protein. So random. This flavor is peanut butter cup, which definitely called my name. 150 calories, 5 grams of net carbs, a little bit more than we're used to. 21 grams of protein, so similar to Quest. And that was for two scoops, remember? I just hit my microphone. Hopefully I didn't turn it off. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if I did. Um, anyway, it does contain erythritol and stevia. Now, that is going to add five grams of dietary fiber to the mix. Woo, very interesting. That's fresh and new. So five grams of prebiotic fiber because of that erythritol. Um, pros, the value, I think I bought this for like $23 as opposed to Quest, which is kind of pushing like 30 right now on Amazon. Um, negatives, I have to be honest, it's not like 100% peanut butter cup flavored. It's like a 7 out of 10 when it comes to deliciousness, but it does offer you that 
dietary fiber, which we all know is important, so I can let that slide. It is slightly gritty, but again, use the blender to really give it that um, extra fine blend. And we already discussed it has a little bit less protein. You know, it's not perfect, but we're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna be flexible. I mean, sure, some of these liquid type proteins are easy to add to coffee and things like that. Right, we know we can do that. But some of the powders offer more advantages when you think about being able to make a recipe with them. And today I'm gonna show you, after number six and seven, how to make what I'm gonna call the next viral video. It's gonna be called peg cakes. Mm -hmm. Peg cakes, which is gonna be a protein egg pancake. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end for that free recipe on how to make peg cakes. It's like the new chaffle. <laughs> Hashtag peg cakes. I'm just kidding. I know that's super annoying, but I thought it was a little bit tiny funny. A little bit. Eh, not funny, Stephanie. Gone. <laughs> okay, number six. Let's talk about Optimum Nutrition. This is a brand of whey. So whey is from a cow. 100% whey. It's one scoop for 120 calories, three grams of um, net carbs, three, 24 grams of protein. It does contain sucralose, which is... Splenda, the yellow packets, right? The pros are, this is a huge bag. If you are on a super big budget, this might be the one for you. It's a value. I bought this at Costco, I think, but all the big box stores carry some type of protein powder. So shop around. It may not be the best tasting, but I use it in, for example, um, berry smoothies or spinach smoothies or in baking where maybe the taste of the powder isn't necessarily the most important because it'll get masked by some of the additives. Yeah, and it's fun to play around with. That way you're not like stressed if you are baking and something doesn't turn out the way you like it. So that is my suggestion for that. Now number seven, I wanna address muscle milk because I know that they used to be a lot of our favorites. All of our previous, when days pre-keto, when we were doing like, um, anyone does, what do you call it? Pre-workout or some of those type of drinks. A lot of us got caught up in that frenzy where we thought we had to have muscle milk to gain muscle, and we all go out and buy this stuff. Well, make sure you're reading the package, because this has a ton of sugar. So I'm going to say, eh, to this one. Muscle milk, this particular product has 20 grams of carbohydrate per two scoops. 20! 20, 20 net carbs. Well, 20 total carbs, and then minus two fibers, so that would be 18 net for two scoops. So negative Hard pass on this. And instead, you know, stay tuned because Muscle Milk and some of the other protein pre-workout type companies, they are making more products. I think we're going to see more to come. This is just a start. But here's a Muscle Milk brand, zero sugar, uh, ready to drink beverage, 25 grams of protein, 170 calories, four grams of net carbs. Um, this is cookies and cream. The only problem is, guys, it's not the best tasting. I'm just telling to you like it is. I think they still have some work to do in terms of working on taste. I told you I'd tell it real. So for me, that's a thumbs down. So those were my seven suggestions and tips about protein drinks, protein powder. I want to encourage you not to be afraid to start cooking and getting into the kitchen and trying some of these recipes. I'm going to share with you my infamous going viral peg cake recipe. Is it a good name or not? What do you think? Ooh. I've got my two ingredients that I need, only two. That's why this is going to go viral, because it's easy. I like easy. Do you? <laughs> Super easy. So here's the first ingredient. You need one egg beaten. So just throw your egg in there. Beat it up. Super duper beat it. All right, that's it. Beat, beat, beat. And then you are going to add a half scoop of protein powder. Now, I try this with all my different protein powders, the expensive kind, the non-expensive kind, the cheap stuff, the non-branded stuff, and they, I made them all, and they all turned out fabulous. So use whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm going to use my 100% whey, the, the value bag that I showed you, and it's a half a scoop. I'm going to add that in with the egg. Stir it until blended. Keep going until it's smooth, smooth as you can get it. Now, just to make sure that the flavor is the way I wanted, they, they taste fine with just these two ingredients, these pancakes, but I did something kind of fun, which I liked. 
which is a fun twist. I just added a little dollop of my syrup, my Mrs. Butterworth's sugar-free syrup. I just add just a little bloop, nothing too crazy. You don't have to do that. You can just do the egg and the half scoop of protein powder. It's going to turn out super. Um, or if you want to get wild and crazy, you can add a little bit of your sugar-free syrup for that maple flavor. That way you're sure to get hint o pancake, like eau de pancake. Because that's the smell is just as important, right, as the way the food looks and tastes. They all go together. So now you're going to get your medium-sized skillet. How easy is that? Like two ingredients. Took me a minute. Get your skillet, you're gonna heat it over medium heat, and you can either use some butter flavored Pam or regular Pam, any kind of spray, or you can be extra, extra super keto, use some butter. Anything will work. Get your pan nice and wet and pour your batter into two pancakes. Just split it in half. Don't be stressed, just go with it. <clears throat> So excited about my pancakes, my mouth is watering. <coughs> Isn't that funny? I have to have a drink, I'm so excited. So now over medium heat, you're gonna cook your peg cakes just for like a minute or two on each side. Doesn't have to be pretty. And then go ahead and flip again for another minute or two. They are gonna turn out fabulous. They look just like regular pancakes. Let me show you my peg cakes, my protein egg pancakes. If you're over the chaffle, this is the new, this is the new you. It literally takes under five minutes to make and clean up and you are ready to go. Go ahead and pour some um, Mrs. Butterworth's sugar-free syrup or your choice on top, melt some butter, and then you're ready to go. You got your peg cakes. I'm telling you, this is going to change your life. It's so, imp so simple and so easy to make and Super healthy, right? You're getting some protein in at breakfast, the egg plus. Oh, keep hitting my mic. Um, you're getting the protein plus. You're getting the egg, the protein powder plus the egg. Delicious. Add that butter in. Your money, your money, your money. And what a great way to help start the day, I think. Or have a snack. Or just any time. I don't care. I eat breakfast or whenever a craving hits me, I'll eat it any time of day. I don't have to have it just in the morning. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. You know, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube so that you get to see the new videos that are added once a week. Because every week I got something new popping off. So make sure you're liking and subscribing to the Dirty Lazy Keto Stephanie Laska YouTube channel, please. And get involved in the Facebook group. Follow on Instagram at Dirty Lazy Keto. Um, participate and ask questions and have fun with this. Don't be shy. I think there is a whole big world out there and we can help each other through it. So I believe in you guys. Give yourselves a wonder wonderful, huge round of applause and stay tuned for the next video, which is quick protein snacks for keto. So that's the next video. Stay tuned and watch that one. You're going to love it. So good job, everyone. Good job, everyone.